everybody welcome back how are you all um something really quick and easy i mean for me quick and easy um uh an open crown hello girl an open crown hat uh, everybody should have a cat that sort of does the you know photo bombing um uh, open crown hat like so now there are literally hundreds of different ways of making hats and you know there is no no such thing as just one way and the correct way or the wrong way or anything like that i'm just showing you a couple of different ways um i've already got a video uploaded that starts um, as, as a proper hat with a four corner kondo or basket so if once you've mastered that you can move on to making a hat uh, this one here is even easier because it's you know it's got no top obviously and um, if you make these here in the southern hemisphere they're really really popular at the moment in New Zealand um, for various reasons because you know they're easy to make um, people you know if they need some sort of shade you know around the eyes you know they're, they're, they're pretty straightforward but you've got to be aware because they don't have a top someone like me um, it puts you in a false sense of security and you may burn the top of your head and you don't want that. So I personally would, wouldn't wear this. I mean, I've, I've, I'm wearing this one. Um, that's my own hat. Um, or alternatively, one of these, but even that one is a bit too, too holy for my liking. So just be aware of it. That's one of those things. Anyway, so today... Here, this tutorial is, is pretty straightforward, simple. It's using the same width all the way around, even on the sides for the add-ins. In order to um, get a brim on any hat, you need to have, you know, obviously add in more strips to make it wider. Otherwise, you just make a cylinder like this, which just continue on. And that's not ideal. So I'll show you how to add in. I don't go into too much detail about the locking off because there are so many different ways of doing that and also I've shown it before. So um, this is really, you know, just a little a little fun video on, you know, quickly make these. You can you can dye these, you can boil these, um, whichever way you want. You know, you can make a pattern on the side if you've got the space, by all means. So that's that's the first one. I will make a second video. Um, following on, so if you look them side by side, so they start the same way, um, full width, and then I split them and add on smaller or, or narrower strips. So they kind of, you know, it gives you more options in terms of patterns. So here, you, you, you know, if you use colors, for example, you can put a pattern on the brim or even on the side if you wanted to. So th those, those videos, or that video rather, will only be available inside our Weaving Circle. It's a subscription only place on my website, and, uh, or members only place. And the um, website is flexworks.co.nz as per usual. So th this, this video will only be in there. I will upload this one as well in there, but um, it will be advertising free. Um, in the members area so that helps um, other than that um, I use for, for all of these they, they're sort of a, a good size for me if you look at it um, sort of I put 28 strips um, they want my, my normal width is 1.2 centimeters wide and these were roughly 70 centimeters long I didn't have any longer so uh, if you have longer you can make the brim wider so the longer they are obviously the more you can you know play around with it and you also need around about plus minus 20 extra strips short they need to be really short they're sort of 30 40 centimeters depending on you know how wide you want to make your brim for the add-ons on the side to form the brim other than that i'll see you in a minute righty yo welcome back Right, so um, for the size that I'm aiming for, um, which is 56 centimeters or 22 inch circumference, uh, I'm using 28 strips, finger, that are roughly um, 1.2 centimeters or, or um, 
1.0 centimeters wide and about about 70 centimeters long. Now the the longer they are, the wider you can make the brim. Also, the wider you make these strips, the longer they need to be. So it's really, you know, this is just a sample of, um, you don't need to use them exactly in, in, in those measurements, obviously. But I have to start somewhere. Um, you can also use some um, other materials. This is New Zealand Flex, Formium Tenax. But you can use um, pandanus, palm leaves. Um, cattail, any sort of leafy kind of plant material or even um, plastic if you, if, you, if you feel so. So this is really um, a, a quite an easy project actually um, that can be made with all sorts of other materials. I have seen these made with um, bark um, in, in Europe so you know it's nothing really too fancy. Right so um, how I normally start this, I sort of half them, roughly, and um, and what I do is, I'll show you on, here we go, what I normally do is I sort of kind of fold them almost like 90 degrees on itself, right, so there's your 90 degrees. And so this is the shiny side on, on this particular material. Um, if you haven't got the shiny and the dull side, it doesn't matter to you, of course. So this is the shiny side, and when I turn it over, this is the dull side. In order to make it more uniform looking, um, uh, I normally sort of turn, um, you know, sort of alternate them, so to speak. So this is, this is the thick end of the sleeve, and this is the thin end. So I not just alternate the shiny and the dull, I also alternate um, thick, thin, thick, thin. So in this case, now I put the thin end there, right? And dull side over this one. Hold this one back. Now I'm using the thick end and the shiny side, put it under. This one on top, fold this one back, and then I just turn this one 90 degrees as per before. Fold this one back. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm creating a over one, under one weaving pattern. It's a very common pattern in a lot of um, weaving around the world, so it's you know it's nothing, nothing super special. On shiny side, there you go. Over, put this one over. This one comes back. This one gets folded basically in on itself, 90 degrees. This one folds back. There you go. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. As you can see, this is a little bit easier. Turn this over, you can see it. So, over one, under one. Over one, under one. Over one, I'm talking about this strip in this case, right? This one, over one, under one, over one, under one. So, it's just a matter of, um, we call this takitahi. And then these ones are just folded over. And you continue doing it this way until you've used up all your strips. There you go. It's pretty straightforward actually if you come to think of it. It's nothing nothing super fancy, nothing super expensive. It just takes a little bit of um you know, finger subtlety and, and that's really it. So you see, it's like this. Okay, next. 
one in. If you think this is falling apart too much in your hands, there you go. If you think this is falling apart too much, and you can use these kind of bobby pins, you know, hairpins, and just you know, peg the sides if you like. And so what you do is you continue with this, adding up all all those fenu, all those strips that you've got ready. Um, and then I'll see you once you've added all of these in, or once I've done it, in this case. And then I'll show you the next step. Welcome back. Right, so I've woven these 28 ones in. Um, over one, under one, I've turned the sides down here 90 degrees. Um, so they are one, two, three, four, five rows up. So this is, you know, as mentioned earlier, this is going to be the more basic version of this um, type of open crown head. Um, I will make another video that starts essentially the same way like this, um, but um, is um, a bit finer. You know, you can see they, they kind of um, get split to half width here. And so that makes the, the brim of the head essentially a little bit sort of um, finer. Um, but we won't do that today because that's more for experienced beavers. I'll pop those videos um, into my subscribers only area. Uh, it's called the Weaving Circle on my website, flexworks.co.nz. So if you, if you really want to learn, you know, you know the final version of this and i will make another one with just the wiser so to speak um then head over to to that area but um try your hand first on on this easier version because no point in starting to run if you can't walk yet so so this is as far as we go now of course you know this is flat and is nowhere nearly round so how do we join those two sides and there's a little trick I use um, for some of my bags as well for you know for Kita for Kaido obviously um, some of you are aware of this and I just um, wrap the book in some plastic and, and tape and that makes a nice sturdy kind of um, you know it's about this thick a nice sturdy this is Harry Potter by the way um, a nice sturdy kind of surface and then I just all I do is pop one side over and you can see I've woven up to here. So I pull these ones back. And take this one out. These ones back. There we go. Right, and then I pop this one on top of it. Like so. going like this I haven't turned this one yet and then that one fits perfectly onto this one and then all I do is all these back so you can see this easier all I do is weave these remaining strips in the same way as we done earlier before so over one under one Very straightforward, really, if you come to think of it. Only problem is that you need to be aware down here that it's a little bit fiddly. Other than that, it's really, there is just no other way these can go if you continue with your over one, under one method. Like all or most of my videos. This is really sort of for people who have woven before anyway. So you you will be familiar with this concept even if you're not based in New Zealand. Um, this is one of the easiest sort of things that people do is the over one, under one weaving concept. Go. It's really... Um, Really straightforward. Right, 
idea. So, if you want to tidy it up a tiny little bit, you can. If you want to do that, just to make it a little bit, um, there we go. So, so now essentially what you have is already, you know, like a round shape that resembles a hat, essentially, you know, if you're looking at, at these two, these other models, so it, um, you know, it resembles a hat. Now, unlike these ones, we'll continue with the same width of these strips, which makes it, you know, fairly, fairly straightforward, easy to use. And for that purpose, in order to get the brim, Obviously, if I were to continue weaving like this, all I do is make a large or long cylinder. And that's not what we want. Now we want to spread things out. So from here, we obviously want to have a brim that's going around our head. In order to do that, we need to add in extra strips. And so I've, um, I've got some shorter ones. They are only about 40 centimeters long. And they're sometimes too short for for other projects so i keep these for exactly this purpose and they are the same width 1.2 centimeters um 12 mil and whatever this is in in inches i haven't got a clue um anyway so we use these ones and the easiest way of doing this is be gentle and pop it open a little bit right like so and then plonk it upside down. Right, so far so good. Looks good, by the way, you know, if you do it like this. And then all you need to do is add these strips in. And the easiest way of doing it, hang on, I hope my head is not in the way, is so essentially what you're doing is you, you continue with your over one, under one, over one, under one, whatever you do. And so you just, you know, if you, if you continue like this, it will sort of spread out just like it is now. Right? There you go. And so what you do now is you just overlay, you know, put one of these on it. Right, so you just lay this new strip in and just weave it in as if nothing happens obviously now this one is loose and we we want to you know if we move if we add in one in one direction somehow we need to add one in in the other direction and so this one strip just like up here we just turn either like this or like so. That's really up to you. Um, I, I tend to do it like this, but not just yet. So we've added this one in and then we weave the next one over like nothing happened. Right? And suddenly we've got this one left over. And that's when we turn it, right? Pull this one back. And then we just have the same as before. You see, over one, under one, the whole way. There you go. Can you see that? This is the simplest way of adding in. I repeat. Right. Pop one over. Just lay it on across like so. Weave it in like nothing else happens. Hang on. Excuse my head. In comes the next one, goes over just as if nothing happened. And then we suddenly got left over with this one. And that is when we turn it and then weave the next one in. Oh, excuse me, like so. Out of its 
so you can see what's happening. There you go. So you can see those little little holes. That's where I've added in. So adding in is really one of the easiest way of making um, a head or making any um, abstract abstract shape um, or a round thing of anything really. And you can add in as much as you like. You know, the more you add in, the wider you can make your brim. Obviously, I'm running out of length here, so I'll probably only add in one round and make this fairly shallow. But that's enough. You know, it doesn't need to be a huge kind of head. And plus, for this demonstration, that's, um, you know, good enough, I think. So I repeat. So you just pull these ones back. You add in a strip, you weave it in, as if nothing happens, then comes the next one that would normally go there, hang on, like so. You sometimes need to manipulate them a little bit. This one goes down, up, and then that new one that we added in just turns in. And suddenly you've got another one. So if you do that all the way around, that's how you get a nice brim. Easy, really easy. So continue with this all the way around. And I'll see you when I'm done with the adding in. Welcome back, right here. So I've added in these ones. If you have longer strips, you know, more than my 70 centimeters that I had, you probably have enough length left to add a second row and make this really wide. Uh, you can also add in, in different colors if you like. Um, that That's really totally up to you. Then, then you know, the brim looks really nice and funky and, you know, um, so there's a number of ways of how to zhuzh this up. Uh, there's also a number of ways how to finish this so if you don't need it to be super sturdy and super long lasting and, and you know that kind of thing you can just use a simple zigzag lock off so basically you just fold these ones over um, and then tuck them in you know that kind of thing right or you can equally Sorry, so it might be easier to see. You can equally just fold them in like this. Basically the same as what we've done with the top. Hang on, I've got two small things. So, um, so they would be finishes like this. You know, this is basically just a turning in at the top. Or you can do a finish like this, which is just a folding over. I'll show this. Bit similar you know on these sort of um, items um, however I actually use what I call or what most people call um, the double lock so I'm building up to two up two down I have demonstrated this before on you know one of these on one of these kornai um, if you're unsure how to do this Radio, so sort of make it nice and flat here. And it's probably too short, so I'll probably take it down one just to be on the safe side. There you go. And then all you do is you just turn it over. So we've got this one and this one, two up. This one and this one two down, this one comes across and this one folds over like so. This one comes up, this one comes down. Um, like so. So that finishes the whole brim in a, in a nice kind of secure way. It won't fall apart anytime soon, that sort of thing. Um, you know, but as I mentioned, there are 
different ways of doing this so you don't have to do it in one way or the other there is no such thing as this the only way of doing it um i just you know for some reason i, I just like this kind of finish but it's really totally up to you i won't go into too much detail because as i said i've i've demonstrated this a number of times before so if you really want to you know do this check out any of the other videos or you can always um i've got a number of videos in our weavers circle on my website that's a subscription only space so you can head over there and um and subscribe and and you know you find videos there that hopefully help you with this Plus, we've probably got um, a Zoom session coming up just on hats, which I will record and um, have people members will ask questions and um, that I will also put up on the on the member site. So, you know, there's different options for you to do this. But anyway, I'll finish with this and I'll show you the end product when I'm done. There we go. So, locked it all off. This is the bottom. You know, so you got a fairly shallow, shallow brim. Now all I need to do is cutting these end bits off, and then essentially this is done. And so you can really, fairly quickly, make this kind of um, open crown hat. If you, you know, if you have a bit of experience and, and and trial it a few times, then you know this is something you can. You can do fairly quickly on a hot summer's day, you know, you need some shade. Well, you know, you can just whip it up and do it. You don't need to make it too fancy. Don't need to go to, to the length that we go with the other ones that I'm um, showing later on, or rather inside the weaving circle. There you go. There you have it. Flatten it down a little bit and shape it while it's still fairly moist. But there is your open crown hat. Um, all done in the same width, fairly quick and easy. You know, these things, you know, they can be done in a reasonable short amount of time. Um, this is kind of the beginner version and then if you want to move on to any of these you know with the um, finer brim and, and possibly wider or um, if you want to dye the add-ins or the head itself um, you know i will create some of those videos as well and i pop them inside the weaving circle so if you want to know more about this one or uh, more importantly about the other ones, um, head over to my website, flexworks.co.nz. There's a, a little section called Members, and that's the weaving circle, and you can sign up. If you only want to sign up for a month, that's fine. If you want to sign up for a whole year, you get two months free. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of other information on that um, in, inside the weaving circle as well. You know, little PDF downloads and other projects, how to make certain kit date, that sort of thing. So if you're so inclined, you can do this. Otherwise, make this one and show me how you do it. You can make it in all sorts of materials and happy weaving, everybody.